Hi, it's me, Ingrid INFP. And I wanted to talk about um, INFPs and the peeling of shame. Um, I uh, I've noticed that my uh, depressed videos do better here than my happy videos, which uh, sucks, but uh, I don't think that it's me being negative um, posting videos about this. Um, at least for my IRL life, it's actually pretty good for me to be able to let it out uh, in, in this way. Uh, now, I don't know why people would want to watch this, but okay. Um, I uh, made a medical mistake and um, prescribed the medication to a patient who really wanted it. And when actually it wasn't the medication that was um, that is used for what problems that she was having. So she kind of pushed me into writing it. And now a colleague came to me and said, uh, like, what, what does this mean? You know, can you call the patient? And so I, I said, okay, I'll, I'll call the patient and like say sorry for my mistake. But then I called and then the patient was like really mad at me for for not will not prescribing the medication that she wanted. And then she put the she laid the receiver on me, so I uh like the conversation got cut off. She was just like, bye, and then she turned down her phone. I was like, oh, you know, like I was here apologizing for not doing the right thing but then she was angry at me for well basically not not doing the right thing um so i feel a lot of embarrassment and shame around that i feel super guilty and so I don't know what the difference between shame and guilt and all these things. A lot of these things in different languages don't really have as much nuance as in English. So I'm going to try to parse it with my understanding of the English language. Um, guilt is usually when you have done something wrong and shame is like more of like there's something inherently wrong with you. That, that, that's kind of where I think the, uh, the distinction lies. But at the same time, I can think of like many counterexamples of how we use the language that we do. So when I'm talking about shame or guilt, it kind of just depends on the circumstance. Um, I think a lot of INFPs are Enneagram 4 and for deals with shame and envy and jealousy um and i think that inherently uh, enneagram fours feel ashamed of their existence and they feel envy that's their vice i guess for like just the fact that other people seem to have it better you know or they seem to be better people, you know, and there's always that guilt of being like the, the worst person on earth. Um, I'm not an Enneagram four, but I do think that I, I relate a lot to four. Um, it's just I relate a lot to six as well, so I don't know. But I do have a lot of deep seated shame. Um, I know this was a lot during my teenage years because I had such a low opinion of myself, low self-confidence. Um, I just felt like I'm a terrible person who just shouldn't be alive, you know? Uh, like, I have no skills, which, you know, uh, having TE at last is kind of you know, it's difficult to acquire and like 
persevere in new skills when you're an INFP. Um, but so I, I thought like I'm not good at anything. Uh, I suck. I uh, I shouldn't be alive. Like what am I doing here? Everybody else is so much better than me. Um, everybody else is smarter than me, is kinder than me, I'm just an ungrateful wreck, um, I'm useless, worthless, all of these negative adjectives. Um, and so it's like low self-confidence, but also a, a shame around it, like Like, what is it even, why am I even here, you know? Because I'm so, I'm such a bad, terrible person. And I feel like I am pretty cynical about myself and the world and, and such. Um, and the shame, it can eat you up. And it's like, you don't want to leave your house because, you know, The shame can be so all-consuming, you know. You can feel like this fire burning you up, you know. I'm glad I'm not religious, because, you know, <laughs> I guess that if I were, I would think that I would be going to hell for this, for all of the shitty stuff that I am and have done. Um, I feel guilt for a lot of things, lots of regrets of things I've done. And it chokes me up, it just I can't live with it. You know, the, the older you get, the more regrets you'll have, because the more things you'll have done. Um, I think that that's the thing with guilt, is that guilt accumulates over time with regrets. Well, I think shame is something that you have because you haven't experienced a lot of life. Um, I think that um, there's, with more self-confidence, there comes less shame, but um, it is useful to be able to feel guilt for things that you've done that haven't been good. It's just such a complicated topic. I don't know where I'm going with this. So I'm just exploring this together with you guys. Um, I just feel like, shoot, I did something terrible and I can't fix it. And no matter what's like, you know, I, I have to live with this feeling, you know. And, you know, sometimes it's good to feel these kinds of things if you're able to fix it or if it makes you go and apologize to the person who you hurt. But sometimes it's just all consuming and it really... Um, I don't know where to go, <laughs> you know? I. Uh, yeah, I did something wrong. You know, like... Then the question is, like, how do you discipline yourself? You know? It's, if no one's there to punish you, should you punish yourself? Well, no, but... But that's sometimes a feeling, you know. Um, I think a lot of my nightmares or, or dreams or such revolve around shame. Um, and guilt. You know, I... 
even guilt for things that I haven't done that are bad, you know, uh, just, just existing, you know. I feel Yeah, I feel so ashamed of how I've acted so for the years 